Gaia, did you know that the Natural History Museum has over 80 million specimens in its collection? Really? That's a lot of specimens. I wonder how many of those are dinosaur fossils. I bet there are enough to make a whole army of dinosaurs. Very good. Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus! Lorenzo, check out the Stegosaurus skeleton. Its bony plates were like natural armor. Yeah, and it had a spiked tail too. It's like a real life dinosaur knight. Gaia, did you know that the name dinosaur means terrible lizard? Really? But not all dinosaurs were terrible, right? Yeah, some were pretty friendly, like the Apatosaurus. Maybe we should call them cool lizards instead. And now we are going to discover everything about dinosaurs! dinosaurs. What is the name of the large dinosaur skeleton displayed in the museum's entrance hall? A. Terry the T-Rex B. Dippy the Diplodocus C. Spike the Stegosaurus Gaia, did you know that some dinosaurs were herbivores, like the Triceratops? Yeah, and some were carnivores, like the fearsome T-Rex. Rex's teeth were as big as bananas? No way, that's one hungry dinosaur. Yeah, but I'm glad we don't have to worry about being T-Rex's snacks. What is the name of the famous giant blue whale skeleton displayed in the museum's Hinsa Hall? A. Benny the blue whale B. Hope the blue whale C. Max the blue whale dinosaurs had feathers? Really? I thought feathers were just for birds. Yeah, but some dinosaurs, like the Velociraptor, were more like feathery fiends than scaly monsters.
science center where kids can explore hands-on exhibits and experiments. A. Discovery Zone. B. Science Safari. C. Wonder Lab. Lorenzo, have you ever seen a real dinosaur footprint before? No, but I heard the museum has some fossilized ones on display. Let's go find them! Maybe we'll discover the footsteps of a T-Rex. Oh my gosh! Ah! That's a gigantic head of a T-Rex. Meteorite displayed in the museum's Earth Hall. A. Moonstone Meteorite. B. Starfall Meteorite. C. Murchison Meteorite. Gaia, did you know that dinosaurs had a really strong leg muscles? Wow, really? Why did they need such strong legs? Well, they used them to run really fast and catch their prey like the speedy velociraptor. ancestor whose fossilized remains are displayed in the museum. A. Lucy B. Adam C. Eve. Check out the Triceratops skeleton. Did you know it had three horns on its face? Three horns? That's so cool. What were they for? Some scientists think they were used for defense, like a prehistoric knight's helmet. Mm -hmm. 